Amidst the placid expanse of the moonlit sea, my hands gripped the helm, steering the vessel through the ethereal currents of the ocean's lament, an ancient waterway obscured by a shroud of maritime mystique. The soft murmur of the waves against the hull created an unsettling symphony, an eerie prelude to the maritime enigma awaiting in the heart of the nautical abyss. The boat, a solitary voyager against the canvas of the spectral sea, cut through the water with an ominous grace. The moon, a solitary sentinel in the celestial tapestry, cast a silver glow that danced upon the undulating waves, concealing the secrets lurking beneath the surface. A chill slithered down my spine as the marine radio crackled to life, emitting a dissonant static that reverberated through the maritime expanse. Whispers, haunting and spectral, emerged from the radio's depths, an otherworldly dialogue that transcended the boundaries of the tangible world. An unseen audience of maritime phantoms observed my journey, their ghostly eyes reflecting the muted luminescence of the moon. In the cabin's shadows, elusive specters materialized, their ephemeral forms coalescing with the rhythmic sway of the boat. As the maritime apparitions circled, their hollow eyes mirrored the timeless sorrow of shipwrecked souls, forever bound to the nautical abyss. A melancholic melody, not from any earthly instrument, but resonating from the very fabric of the vessel, echoed across the moonlit waves. The boat quivered beneath my grasp, and the spectral entities within the cabin swayed in silent unison, an ethereal ballet orchestrated by the unseen maestros of the maritime abyss. Miles drifted by, each carrying the weight of centuries-old maritime lore and the lamentations of those lost at sea. Phantom ships, their skeletal frames barely visible beneath the moon's shimmering veil, sailed alongside, ghostly companions in this nautical odyssey beyond the realms of the living. Abruptly, the boat slowed, succumbing to an otherworldly force that defied the laws of maritime physics. The maritime whispers intensified, merging with disembodied laughter that reverberated through the cabin. Panic seized my senses as the apparitions turned their spectral gaze upon me, a silent acknowledgement of a fate entwined with the haunted waters of the ocean's lament. In the inky blackness, a maritime fog materialized, tendrils snaking toward the boat. Desperation clawed at my chest as the vessel's interior transformed into a swirling vortex of spectral energies. Faces, frozen in eternal sorrow, pressed against the portholes, their muted cries swallowed by the maritime void. With a sudden jolt, the boat surged forward, leaving the haunted waters of the ocean's lament behind. Apparitions faded into the maritime mist, their ghostly visages lost in the vanishing waves. As the first light of dawn kissed the horizon, I emerged from the spectral embrace of the nautical abyss, forever haunted by the maritime echoes clinging to the wooden frame of my refuge on that chilling, ghost-laden sail through the heart of the unknown sea.